Working with ultra capacitors can be very dangerous. It's easy to cause harm to yourself, other people, or your property. Please do your own research and work safely according to all safety guidelines. Hi, welcome back to the Gapster channel. My name is Gabby, and today we're going to talk about this uh, Quad UC Pure. This is a new beast by uh, in Canada, and uh, just coming out. This is still a pre release version. And uh, so we're going to talk about it a little bit and uh, what is it and what's it for and is it actually one of the best uh, power supplies you can buy. I keep saying that and uh, it keeps making some better and better ones. So let's examine this one. So what is this thing? This is a, uh, basically a power supply that's going to run purely on ultra capacitors. So the way it works is you feed it uh, 12 volts from any any power supply you want, most likely you might use like a linear transformer and uh, this will convert that into either 5 volt or 3.3 volt and uh, it will charge within a couple of minutes and once it's fully charged it can run for a few hours and uh, so when it's running for on its own for a few hours it's running in pure mode means it's disconnected from the grid from any of your power supply from anything and now it's running purely on the uh, the super capacitor so it's going to be a very pure uh, power supply this is very very low esr so it's going to be I would say one of your best power supply you can get. Now, as good as this thing is, it's not great for everything. This only works when you're using something on low power that doesn't consume a lot. Mind you, with four, now you can start using it for something a little bit more than before. But you want to use it for something like clocks for a DAC, for example, where you want the power to stay constant and the voltage to stay as constant as possible as uh, this is going to be probably one of your best supply power supply for something like that something like a DAC chip something like a, an op amp or very anything that doesn't consume a lot of power you can use this for and it's going to give you some of the best power you can imagine another thing I want to talk about is your wiring it's very important because if you're building those UC massive UC uh, ultra capacitors, these are capable of some insane amount of uh, amperage. So your wire, no matter how thick it is, can melt and burn in flames very, very quickly. So you want to use as thick of a wire as possible and a wire that will not burst into flame. I did before a video in the past about different wires. You have three different wires, the wires that burn like insanely, uh, like crazy you really want to avoid those completely there's the wires that kind of burn if there's flame but then they stop burning when the flame stops and then you've got the wires that don't hardly burn at all and these are the ones that you probably should be using uh, you should keep the fuse here that's your safety do not bypass the fuse even though Ian puts one here to bypass it I'm quite against it because if anything is going to save you it's probably going to be that fuse even if you do all the safety precautions, play using supercapacitor, ultracapacitor could be dangerous and you could get your property in trouble. So what kind of wires I use? I use uh, some silver plated wires. These are 10, 11 gauge wires, I would say. And uh, they're, quite, they're quite thick, very stiff. They have a PTFE jacket that hardly burns at all. And uh, so you want to keep your wires as short as possible. This is the other thing. We didn't go putting all these ultra capacitors to at the end use like a very long wire like this long to supply whatever. It's just like don't bother doing this if you're going to do that. So you want to keep your, your, your leads as short as possible. And this is when it becomes very critical to position your device so it comes in the middle of all your power supply, so all of them are as short as possible. So when it comes to wires, as short as possible, something that doesn't burn. You can also use solid core copper. It's also very good, and a lot of people believe in using that as well. Either way, you're good. Just use some really thick wire and something that doesn't burn. Another great thing about this is that while you're listening to music in between songs, this one will recharge just momentarily. And that's enough to keep it going on and on without having to actually charge for a long period of time when you're actually using listening to music. 
So this feature alone is probably one of the most clever uh, design I think that Ian uh, came up with. This is not available yet. It will be available very, very soon. I don't have the exact timeline for it. when it comes to getting information from Ian. It's, it's not an easy thing. Uh, I'm lucky that he sent me this actually to evaluate it. And uh, so I figure I'll just make a little video about it. It's pretty cool. I still don't know exactly every little detail about it, but there will be a, uh, a, a manual about it. Always read those manuals. It's extremely important. Another great thing about this one is that you no longer have to solder these little jumpers on the back. They actually have actual jumpers that you can move and makes it easier. So this is like a really simplifies everything. So you can mount this uh, vertically like this on the side or you can mount it on the bottom. Uh, this has very thick uh, copper inside and multiple layers to keep the ESR low. You do not have to uh, use balancing board, it's all integrated. This can be configured to 5 volt and 3.3 volt and uh, you can also charge it either on 5 amps or 8 amps. You've got two actually outputs here, so you can uh, feed a couple devices if you like. You have a couple options of switched uh, outputs, also there's some continuous outputs. Always keep in mind that when you're wiring anything continuous, that you have some thick wires that's leading to the thing. And make sure you keep the fuse so you don't end up in trouble. All in all, this is probably the easiest one of uh, the uh, ultra capacitor uh, to actually put together. I, could, I was able to put it together very quickly, so uh, you don't need any extra things. There is nothing to source out. Everything is supplied, the screws, the nuts, and all the little bit. So here it is. We're going to do a little quick assembly. So these are the parts that come with it. So this is all self-contained. You don't need to basically use any... Uh, so zip ties or anything, it's all self-contained, that's what I like about it. So we have the uh, top board here and the bottom board here and uh, the ultra capacitors are going to go in between. I'm going to do a very quick assembly here. So I'm going to take the bottom board and it's important to observe the polarity. So plus, plus, minus, minus, and you get them here. So this is going to be plus. So before each ultra capacitor there is a washer, don't forget that, and that keeps that space between things. And then there's a washer on top, so one underneath, one on top, and and here we go, we got one here. So in order to mount this on top, you can't just do one at a time, you have to do the bottom four and then the top. So we're going to populate all four bottom ones the same way we put the first one. And here we go, we got all four. We're going to make sure the Little wire goes in the middle here. So there we go. Now we can put the top. So again, we're going to make sure the mounting holes are on the same side. So they are right here. Check out those long pins and just make them a wee bit shorter. Center cable will go through the little hole in here. And we have to make sure that we have washers on all those four. Washers. Once you tightened all the screws, it's very important to use the covers caps. Why? Because if accidents going to happen, is by these touching things, and they're so easy to connect to things because you have a metal chassis or something and you touch and you get a problem on your hand. And last thing you want to do is you want to connect the center table to J16. And there we go. 
and uh, this is it this is assembled with this so this is a really good system because a few things there are no wires to run from the ultra capacitors to the uh, balancing board all that stuff you're gonna save on lots of uh, wire resistance because remember the main game here is to keep the sr as low as possible also this is all self-contained so you can actually have mounting screws here you just put it down screw it down the bottom and uh, and then you're good if you find it's a little bit wobbly you can just twist it a little bit there you go that's nice. and then you just tighten the screws a little bit again next thing you want to do is uh, secure those bad boys and uh, that same case that I've talked about that we get from Mauser uh, will fit these guys very nicely and uh, you will can put the lid on top now the lid will not perfectly go all the way down but all you have to do is put a little some spacers here so when you put your screws you have a little bit of space uh, some air will go in which is nice keeps aeration in there but this is going to keep your pets away from it your dog your any, uh, kids running around or anything you know mishaps and keeps it contained in a self uh, contained unit and this particular uh, case is actually quite fire retardant it's got some very high it has a very high ul listing which basically means it's not gonna uh, burst in flame very quickly this is the one from mauser i'll put a link for it in the description below please bear in mind i do not make any money from selling anything from mauser or even ian canada stuff and i'm just doing this to help you guys uh, you can buy the cheap version of these but they are made of cheap plastic that will burst in flames now to mount those to the case underneath you are remember we have some uh, four uh, brackets here that comes basically with the new system here uh, so these are m3 uh, screws so you have to get yourself some m3 screws you can get them from a hardware store or it's either i'll put a link on amazon you can get those uh, really cheap and uh, they come in a big case for next to nothing these are so m3 screws and uh, you just have to dr drill four holes here and put your screws in and that's gonna keep this firmly secure i'm gonna put a link in the corner above for an ultra capacitor built for plus five and minus five volt if you're interested in something like that on the bottom there'll be a link to 10 highly recorded songs that you absolutely will love and i've got a few series about those you might want to check them out i will put a speaker in the middle in case you feel like subscribing and supporting the channel and i would like to thank everyone that uh, donated and also joined my patreon for support that's always going to help me buy more things to explore on this channel hope to see you again in another video take care